Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's time now for Ask the County, and today we are breaking down the coronavirus for you. Joining us this morning is Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Thank you so much for being Good here. Glad to have you back. Absolutely. Today we are talking about the coronavirus, and yes. the health department has really been monitoring this and updating us as we go. But first, do you want to just explain what the coronavirus is? Yeah, so the coronavirus, you're thinking like like the flu, so it's a respiratory virus. So you're thinking like the flu, but like more along the lines of those ones, the nasty ones like SARS and MERS that we've mm -hmm. heard about um, that really have a high rate of infection and a high rate of folks that um, have a hard time fighting it off and then the high death rate. And that's where the, you know, where the challenge comes in. But if you're thinking of it as respiratory, um, flu-like stuff like that, that's what, that's what the virus is. Does anyone know yet how it's spreading? So they think that there was a market in China that was spread from, it's because animals will spread the virus around. Mm -hmm. And then they think that this market is where it started, where it was the animal to people. And now they're starting to talk to folks that have the virus that were never at any of these markets. So then now it's, the concern is that's that person to person spreading. And that's the airborne stuff from the sneezing and the coughing and stuff like that. So that's where the, the higher alarm of the pandemic worldwide type concern is, is it becomes person to person. That's really scary to it think really about, is. especially because we come in contact with people all throughout the day. Absolutely. Lots of different surfaces too. Yeah, absolutely. What are some of the symptoms of the coronavirus? So you think of things like high fever, um, uh, shortness of breath, the cough, um, really a lot of things you think of when you think of the flu. Um, those are the symptoms. And some folks that they're finding that, that have contracted it and have died, mm -hmm. didn't, there was really not a whole lot of signs, weren't there very long. And others that, you know, um, they had it for up to 14 days. Um, you can be um, infectious for two to 14 days after getting it before, you know, you realize you even had it. So. It's really, you know, that's why it comes to the, this whole preventive, the whole role of the health department and the CDC of spreading the word around that's better safe than sorry. Yeah, what else can we do to prevent this besides just staying updated as best you can and, and looking so, at what's happening? So if you think of like how we treat the flu, so it's, it's the, you know, get the flu vaccine, um, wash your hands. Mm -hmm. if, if, you, if you are sick and don't feel good, you know, stay away from others. Um, they kind of suggest that uh, workplaces kind of be flexible and friendly with your, you know, if folks are sick and they want to stay home from work, you know, tolerate that, allow that to happen, um, you know, stay away. Um, things I know there's employers out there going thinking, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. But, but you know, we really want to make sure because it's, it's the spreading of this disease and spreading of the flu in general. And really, and if we don't kind of nip this stuff in the butt on the front end of it, then more people get sick, and uh, and, and whether it's you know whether it's this nasty virus or whether it's just the general flu, all of these precautions will be helpful for all of us. And I feel like a lot of employers do say, you know, if you are sick, it's best to take a sick day and stay home. It so really is. Really Most employers are, Hopefully. and they really get you know that yeah. they don't want you here if you're sick. Um, it's not helpful to others, and kind of you know keep you away from others if you are. A lot of employers are now going to a lot of the telecommuting options. So folks have options to do some work at home if they're able to. Otherwise, sometimes rest and fluids are the best. Yeah. Can you imagine doing this job from home? I'm I don't my think pajamas. so. Hey, guys. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yeah. It does sound like fun. Um, so let's talk about the risk in the United States right now. Is it high? Are we, should we be concerned? So I think that, that from a standpoint of being concerned, when you talk about folks that have been to China and into those regions, in, in, you know, most of these cases, they've identified like 43,000 cases worldwide. And um, of those that have, of, that have been affected, really the United States is like, like second on the list outside of the South Pacific. So really the radar being up is being concerned. You know, we have now 13 cases. We still have 70 cases that are, that are being monitored that haven't been determined. They've had over um, 400 that they've examined, that they've tested for and found the 13 positive cases. So it's in that you know, window of low risk assessment right now, but on the, on the level of let's just be safe and uh, and make sure and better to when it's all done to find out that hey you know what we are a little bit over cautious yeah and the health department puts out this information so we can absolutely if you go to the, the the health department's website has the, all the CDC stuff on it and really is um, uh, really helpful in reading a lot about this you can actually find yourself for quite a bit of time uh, learning a lot of stuff 
Yeah, very interesting. Well, thank you yes, so much thank for you being very much. here with us and sharing this information Absolutely. with us. And if you have questions you'd like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com.